Denver law enforcement officials have arrested 40-year-old Nathan Daniel Larson of Catlett, Virginia. Larson is currently in the Denver County Jail facing a misdemeanor charge of harboring a minor. However, he is also facing felony charges in Fresno County for kidnapping, child abduction, soliciting child pornography from a minor, and meeting a child for the intention of sex. I have to give credit where credit is due. I would have never made two videos on this person, Nathan Larson, had it not been for Belle Damasi, a very small YouTube channel here on the YouTube sphere who brought awareness to this individual to me. Then I made a video about it, and then it kind of had like this ripple effect where then other YouTubers started talking about it more frequently. All been avoided had anybody listened to me or the countless amounts of other people that have helped on this case trying to spread awareness, screaming, arrest Nathan Larson. But it took this. It took him boarding a plane with a child in a wig telling that child to act disabled so no one talks to her. If you want to know more about his arrest, uh, check out Bell's video, which is linked down below in the description. Several months ago, I made a video titled, This Website Needs to Be Shut Down, called Rapey, in which the entire website was a place for pedophiles to conglomerate and discuss wanting to have sex with children, exchanging photos, discussing very, very graphic, disgusting things, including and wanting to harm children. Bell Damasi brought awareness to this site to me, asked me to make awareness to it. I looked into it. I'm like, wow, this is sick, disgusting shit. People on that website, the pedophiles, started attacking me and her, saying vile, vile things, even pretending and impersonating her, me. It got really, really messy. But what we found out about that website is that the owner was Nathan Larson, then stemmed into me making a video dedicated to Nathan Larson himself, which I made, I think it was two, three months ago, titled The Nathan Larson Files. It's still on my channel if you want to see it. But in this video, Nathan Larson gets on camera and he advocates and says that he should be able to have sex with like a five or six year old. What's so twisted about the video that I made on Nathan directly is that in that video, there are direct clips that I use in which he advocates for wanting to have sex with children. He says it on camera. He's being interviewed and he says, oh yeah, I think uh, I should be able to, you know, like have sex with a five or six year old. Uh, they can consent. Uh, there's nothing wrong with children having sex. There's nothing wrong with, you know, adult 30, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old man having sex with a child. Nathan Larson on his site that he owned, Rapey, would make post after post after post after post describing his fantasies describing what he wants to do to children, how he wants to kidnap and hurt them. And now that happened, which is unfortunate because of the fact that it shouldn't have gotten to this point at all. And this is the fucking problem. You have a guy who comes on camera, who's on an interview, who there's YouTube videos of, of him saying, yes, I want to have sex with a five-year-old, six-year-old. I want to hurt children. He says that he wants to harm people, right? And... Nobody bat an eye. Sure, the internet says this is wrong, this is screwed up, but it actually takes him to physically kidnap a child, which now he's been caught and he's in jail now, thank God. But the fact is, he kidnapped a child, okay? That child is going to have permanent life trauma from his actions. And this just goes to show the real problem in, I don't know if it's just the US, I don't know if it's a worldwide problem, but if you have somebody who's knowingly saying that he wants to harm children, he needs to be arrested. When the police go to his house and they, he, they find child pornography, and somehow, because his mom and uh, father are in the legal system, the mom works in the legal system, it's overlooked. It's just ignored. While he continues to describe his sick fantasies with wanting to harm children. So it takes him physically harming a child before anything happens. And that should not be the case. If you have somebody on the internet claiming to wanting to, have to hurt children, they need to be arrested and have a psychiatric evaluation. I'm serious. This is what needs to happen. If you, if you come across somebody who's expressing wanting to harm people and have sex with children, that you just can't just turn a blind eye to that. How do people just turn a blind eye, ignore it, until, somebody, until a child actually gets hurt? Then it's a problem. It should have been a problem months ago before he traveled to California to kidnap somebody, to harbor a minor, to solicit having sex with a child. What is wrong with the FBI? Honestly, what is wrong? 
I contacted them. You contacted them. Hundreds of people contacted the FBI over this guy. But it takes the actual harming of a child for them, for anything, for law enforcement, to do jack shit. It's, it's, it's frustrating. It's gross. It's grotesque. Why does it take a child being hurt and sexually abused in order for the thing, anything to happen? Hmm? He's in jail. He's most likely, like 99, probably 9%, going to be in prison now because of him being, finally getting caught. And I want to say a verbal thank you to Bell for bringing awareness and starting that petition that got, what, over 50,000 votes? It became a really big thing. And that's the thing about awareness is that once you bring awareness to somebody who wants to harm children, I think it's important that other people follow suit and bring awareness to the dangers of particular people on YouTube. Mini Lad is on YouTube. Other people who literally send naked photos to children are on this platform. And it's fucking scary. I have a nephew who's 10 years old. He watches YouTube. Okay? And it crosses my mind all the time. But if there's some creepy dude who wants to take advantage of him, he uses YouTube, he watches my videos. When you see this stuff happen, speak up. Voice your feelings. Don't hide away. Don't get scared of what they may say or do to you, the pedophiles. Is what Nathan Larson did with me. He made an account on his website. Listen, I don't actually know if it was him, but it most likely was. Used my name and then made a whole po post about how I liked being sexually assaulted at 16 um, in the church. And sometimes you have to put yourself in the crossfire for the greater good to happen. And well, it has. He's in jail. He's been caught. And I hope you live a long, miserable, suffering life, Nathan. The trauma and the abuse that you endured on children. Burn in hell. Literally.